Hi everyone, and welcome to our class. My name is Lavrit Sangha, but feel free to call me Lavrit. I like to just go by my first name. In this video, I will be talking a bit about my background, how our class is going to be structured, and some tips I have on how to do well in our class. Let me start with my background. I am originally from the Bay Area. I grew up in a town called Danville, which is about 25 to 30 miles away from Berkeley. And I went to Berkeley as an undergrad. So it's very exciting for me to be back and teaching. Um, I studied math while I was there. And afterwards, I continued studying math. I got my master's and my PhD. And then I got into teaching full time. So I spent a year at the University of Kentucky. After that, I moved back to the Bay Area. And I've been teaching at Santa Clara University full time. Uh, for the past few summers, I've taught classes at Berkeley. So I'm very excited to be back. How's our class going to be structured? I'm going to use a flipped class format, which means rather than me introduce you to the topic during our whole class and you only working on homework outside of class, it's going to reverse that. So I will introduce you to the topics in videos that you'll watch before classes. There's going to be about 50 minutes worth of videos to watch before each class. And then class time will be spent for you to practice. So for you to work on homework problems and try other great practice problems that are meant to help you prepare for our quizzes. I'm doing this because overall it saves you time. Introducing content through videos saves about 45 minutes per week rather than if I spent all of class doing it. And then also it gives you more opportunities to ask questions in class and collaborate with your peers. We'll have homework due twice a week on Tuesdays and on Fridays. You'll submit it using a website called Gradescope. We'll have quizzes in class every week on Fridays. After each quiz, you can improve your score on any problem by doing corrections and taking a reassessment. That's where I will give you another problem on that topic to work out. This is really designed to give you multiple opportunities to demonstrate your learning and improve your grade. I have six tips on how to do well in our class. The first is you want to aim to get a conceptual understanding of our course topics. Most high school level math problems are designed so that you can solve them quickly. But college math problems can be a step up in difficulty because they focus more on understanding why things work. To build that skill, it's important to spend more time thinking about problems. That'll help in synthesizing the various concepts and recognizing when to apply a particular method. Second tip is to start the homework assignments early. My expectation is that you're spreading it out over five to six days a week. That'll help in better retaining the material and avoiding the situation where you have a lot of work to do all in one day. The third tip is to do corrections and reassessments each week. I'll talk more about this in class, but these are opportunities for you to improve your grade. And by doing them consistently each week, you are maximizing your grade. The fourth tip is to try homework problems on your own first. If you get stuck on something for five minutes or so, that's when I want you to use our resources for help, which I will tell you about. In particular, you should avoid the temptation to look up answers or solutions online because homework is really designed for you to practice and develop your skills. And by looking up stuff online that just does the work for you, you lose that opportunity and it's a violation of our academic integrity policy. The fifth is use our resources for help. First of which is my office hours, which are an informal place where students can come in to work on homeworks and ask questions come up. I am there to help out. The second is the Student Learning Center or SLC has drop-in tutoring for our class, which is Mondays through Thursdays from 12 to 4 p.m. I actually got my start teaching as an SLC tutor, so I would highly recommend this resource. The third is ED Discussion, which is an online discussion forum where you can post questions anytime and other students in our class can help answer. And the fourth is your classmates. You'll have the opportunity to meet and work with your peers in class and hopefully also in SLC tutoring. But I would highly encourage you to use your classmates as a resource. The sixth tip is to maintain a growth mindset, which is something that we'll talk more about in our class. Basically, it's the belief that you can get better at something through the effort that you put in. No one is born just being good at math. It's something that we all put in the work to improve our skills in, including myself. You can do this. I am here and happy to help, and I am excited to work with you this summer. 